so first let's learn about g seed banks seed banks are the stores in which seeds are preserved for conserving endangered plant species in this case seeds are derived and dried to bring down their water content to below 4% then they are cooled and maintained at a constant temperature of minus 20 degree in this condition their water level is below 4. Point, i am saying i am sorry 4% and their temperature is minus 20 degrees celsius in this condition seeds of many species can remain viable up to 20 years soil seed banks are the ungerminated but viable seeds that lie in the soil the seeds which can withstand extremely low temperature and highly reduced water content are called orthodox seeds what are orthodox seeds which can withstand extremely low temperature and highly reduced water content seeds with which can withstand highly reduced water content along with extremely low temperature they are called orthodox seeds orthodox seeds examples are the seeds of many staple crops such as cereals and legumes the seeds which are killed by freezing temperature are called recalcitrant seeds. Recalcitrant seeds. Which are the recalcitrant seeds? Examples are the seeds of some economically important species such as coconut palm, oil palm, rubber, tea, jack tree, etc. These are recalcitrant seeds which are killed by freezing temperature examples are coconut plant oil palm rubber tree i'm sorry tea jack tree etc currently there are more than 50 different kinds of seed banks some of them are functioning in association with botanical gardens perhaps the largest seed bank in the world is in the international rice research institute manila in philippines there are around 90,000 samples of different varieties of rice, rice plants are preserved in the International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center, Mexico. There are more than 12,000 samples of maize and nearly 1 lakh samples of wheat. Kew Gardens in London has been storing plant materials since the 1950s. Recently, it has initiated a project to establish the Millennium Seed Bank, which will store seeds from the semi-arid tropics and subtropics. India has a seed bank projected to store the original wild strains of food crops such as rice, banana, beans and yam. So there are two types of, in case of seed banks, we will be reducing the temperature into minus 20 degrees Celsius and then we will be decreasing the water content into 4%. There are two types of seeds like the orthodox seeds which can withstand low temperature along with very low water content. But recalcitrant seeds are which some seeds which you know remain viable only in an optimum temperature. They can't tolerate lower temperatures.